The mechanic knows what drives what components to function. If the mechanic has an understanding of what it's supposed to do, he should have an idea of what component to go to to possibly start troubleshooting. We keep the army rolling. Technology advances are constant. There's constant change and it's challenging to try and stay ahead of those technological developments. We put a lot of effort into trying to keep our equipment top notch and cutting edge. You know, our job in the back is to make sure everybody gets home alive. So it's an all-encompassing mission. There's a lot of small things that they have to do that's kind of a pain, but overall you're doing it for a purpose and for a reason. Components come together to operate out there in the field. We want them to be comfortable troubleshooting those systems and to be able to repair them. Some people are just a little bit more in tune for how things work. So someone who does a lot of automotive repair and that kind of stuff might be very well suited for that. Guys that like to take things apart and see how it works and understand its relationship to one another would be very well suited for that. Troubleshooting, for sure. Being able to see a problem and kind of work your way to solve how to fix that problem is very, very big as well. The best thing that you can do is just have a curiosity, looking at something and wondering why it is the way it is. The stem's important for a couple different reasons. Fluid dynamics, understanding the breaking points of things, what material is going to give and when it's going to give. You need to have that good understanding of, of weight and balance. I think a basic understanding of physics and electrical, I think, is key. The attributes that make us successful, motivation, being able to communicate with your fellow soldiers, working hard, teamwork is, is like the number one thing here, and just being positive. I think the, the biggest part is understanding that you're, you're part of a team. Nobody has all the answers, but in our business, it's key to get the right answer every time. Companies come in, they give their vehicles to us, we fix them, and they have a happy journey because their vehicle is rolling and all is good, the mission can be done. The skills that we use in the National Guard are very transferable to the civilian world. The training is world-class and will always be valued out in the civilian sector.